So I was at Walmart today and I saw this universe, universe, you, um, it's a slimy goop fortune teller. I guess it's kind of like a, um, eight ball, magic eight ball that I had as kids and I think they still have them out there. But you make it yourself and it's a little kit and you put it together and I thought it would be a really fun video to do this together with you guys. So. This is going to be me trying it and reviewing it and see how it goes. There's a lot of these universe things on clearance, but there's a lot of other ones that I might try in the future if this one turns out fun. So, let's go try this one. Okay, so here's the box. It says everything we need is inside, but I did bring over my own scissors because they probably need scissors and it probably won't be in the box. But I'm going to open the box and see what all comes in it. Okay, I do want to show you, when you open the box, it's a lot of empty space. A lot of, a lot of empty space. The ball part is there. Stickers. And all the glitter and stuff is right here. So, uh, let's see what's all in there. Okay, so it came with this little globe. And here's the um little dice inside that... Um, tell us your fortune. Um, here's the instructions. So we're going to be looking at those. Some sodium acrylic cold polymer. polymer. We have that. There's some iridescent glitter. Let's focus. Focus, please different shape stars and hearts and stuff in there. There's some very fine iridescent glitter. And the stickers for the dice. It also comes with a my super awesome universe poster. Which, which is huge, and we're going to look over that later afterwards. So, instructions. Step one, remove all packaging from the fortune teller, as well as the die. So, let's take that out of there. This unscrews. Oh, there's like a little plastic holder. Holding it up, clean the die. Got the die out of there. Take a look at my sticker sheet and decide which stickers I want to include for my fortune teller. 24 stickers, and I need 12 of them for my die. So, the one that says is here. I don't know if it's a lighting issue or. No, nope, just don't have a very good camera. This one says, you are awesome. Oh no, this one says, you shine brightest. And there's all the stickers. I think I will try, let's see what we'll try, I'm gonna open it. So here's my stickers. I wish it would focus better, I'm so sorry about that. Okay. Alright, sorry guys. I fixed my white balance to see if it would help a little bit with this issue. It only did a little bit, but... Alright, so for my dice, I think I'm going to do this one that says positively. I think it's cute. Oh, the sticker is kind of, um, don't fill off the sheet well. It doesn't really what matter what order I put them in because I'm choosing which ones to put on anyway. So, um, this one says "You wish," and I think I like that one. It's got a unicorn on it. 
nice little um galaxy looking unicorn this one says you'll fall in love and i think i'll skip that one this one says you will live a long and happy life it's your typical fortune teller answer isn't it so well hopefully everybody will get that one so i want for everybody these stickers do not peel off well off the sheet just so you know I'm glad I had some fingernails. Look, I peeled off, but it peeled off the top layer of the sticker paper, so I still have to get this off. Okay. You live a long and happy life. Okay. This one says, it's meow or never. And I like cats, and it's a rainbow cat, and meow is a typical answer in my house, so we will go with meow. Meow or never. Rainbow Kitty. This one says, the stars say no. I guess we have to be told no once in a while, so let's do that one. There's no character or anything on this one, just some pretty stars. Alright, this one says, out of this world. It doesn't really seem like an answer. Shoot for the stars. That doesn't either, but it's a good, uh, Good motivation, right? This one is You Shine Brightest. This one says Geek Girl. This one says Can't Say. I think I'll go with that one. Hmm, can't say. Sometimes you just don't get an answer, right? This one says Go For It. Is your encouragement that you're looking for? With a pretty white daisy flower. There's another one that says Go For It. I don't want to do that. Here's an alien that says, you'll make new friends. Let's all make new friends. I'd like to make some new friends today. So just hit the subscribe button. And we'll be friends. That was cheap. Cheap little segue, wasn't it? Alright, so I have two more to pick from. I was like, as repeat things. Another unicorn says, you wish. Another cat says, meow or never. Another positively. So I guess I'll do You Shine the Brightest, because that's, maybe somebody needs to hear that. You all shine the brightest for me. And one more. Um, Geek Girl, You'll Fall in Love or Out of This World. I like Out of This World, because I feel like Geek Girl and You'll Fall in Love is just totally irrelevant to this whole thing. Oh, I didn't that on there straight so I'm gonna try to get that on there straight. Okay so it says to put the choose your stickers on and put them on so that part is done. Pop it inside the center of the fortune teller inside the inner wall so I'm gonna put it back in here just like that. Next have an adult help me by filling my fortune teller to the brim with hot water. Oh, it's gonna fill, oh, it's gonna fill all the way. All right, so I am the adult. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this with hot water and I'll be right back. Okay, so I brought a bowl over in case I did too much. So it says fill it to the brim with hot water and that's what I did. Should be hot enough, but, oh, tap water from your faucet is hot enough. You don't need to do boiling water. Well, that's good, because that's exactly what I just did. Pour the entire contents of the coal polymer into your fortune teller. I think I have too much water. No, I'm going to just wait. That's why I have a bowl. You know what? I'm going to do this in the bowl. I mean, I'm on the table, but I'm starting to worry. All right. See when I said they didn't give you scissors? Would you go and need it? So here's a coal polymer. Coal, coal polymer. Coal polymer. Coal polymer. Sodium acrylic coal polymer. All right. So pour the entire content, and you will see the color start to disperse throughout. Mm. All right. 
frustrating is like the things in the way. This part's like hard. Is that? I don't want to touch it. I don't want to touch the skin. Okay. There goes that. Mm, okay. So, what I'm it's still fizzy, but I'm seeing some purplish going on in there. Oh yeah, it's starting to turn a little blue. Oh, the bowl. So I realize the bowl is hiding it from view for you guys. So I'm gonna risk my table and I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. Okay. Okay. So if you'd like to add some shimmer and sparkle to your fortune teller, sprinkle some glitter and confetti in. Well, I definitely want to do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it all in because. You know, can't just do some. That would kind of defeat the whole purpose of me doing that. Let's do all the way, people. All right, this thing is still in the way. So here's the confetti. And I'm sure like, if you have other confetti you'd pr rather use or something, you know. There's a few little hearts in there. Okay. And, so, I'm, I'm lifting up the camera so I can show you what I'm seeing from my side. See, this is all up here. And that's in there. See that? Oh, sorry. There's that. I should realize I have something in my hand. Something pink. I'm just turning that so that I get a chance for the confetti to fall in, you know? Okay. And then I'm going to do the shimmer glitter. The, I mean, yeah. It's like real fine glitter. Alright, so I'm going to see. So I'm going to try to. So putting that in there. I'm a little concerned with the stickers being in the water, but um, oh well. So screw the cap on and shake, shake, shake to allow the cold polymer to dissolve in the hot water. The inside liquid will begin to turn slimier as it cools down. That's what we want, right? I'm gonna put it in the bowl now because I'm gonna put the lid on. It's gonna like smash this down. So let's put it in. Put the lid on. Ooh. So apparently, like, copolymer is what makes it. All you, all you slime people know all about that. So you're probably, I'm probably saying it wrong. You're probably like, don't you know? All right. Shake, shake, shake. Get water everywhere. That's pretty. See as it cools down, it's supposed to get slimier. It has to feel cool to the touch from the inside. Or from the outside. I can kind of feel some slime like out here. Like some of the stuff that leaked out. Slimy. Definitely slimy. Mm, it's still not cooling down. I mean, it's still not sliming up. It's not cooled that down that much yet. Uh, okay. Okay. Let's see. See, right now the the dice is really fast. Boom. 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 But I guess like as it gets slimier, it's gonna yeah. See, it's slowing down already. Take a little more time to 
think about the answer it wants to tell me. And it says when it's not in use, you can pop it in a small display. When it's not in use, oh, fancy. Oh, actually, it's upside down like that. Now there is like, this is the um, original way, but there is like three other um, ways that they give you, you could do with it, but you'd have to have your own ingredients. Um, for this one, the only thing I didn't have was the water, so, and the scissors, but we already talked about that. But there's other ways, it says you could do antacid, water, food coloring, oil, and club soda. And I guess that would make it bubbly. They call it bubbly, bubbling colors. So that would be cool. Oh yeah, like it's slowing down real good now. There you go. Who thinks I should open it and touch it? Hit the like button and I'll make a video of opening it and playing with the inside. Okay, and another one. It says you could use water and shaving cream and food coloring and they call that falling rain so fill it so, and then put shaving cream and then food coloring oh that'd be cool this is a look like rain and then the other one the last one it says you could put water and food coloring oil like mineral that are vegetable oil and salt and that is supposed to be another bubbling one. So, okay, it's nice and slimy now. It's still not, it's still pretty warm. So it's not, um, it's not completely cold yet. But it's really mixed up well. So, look how pretty. Um, yeah. All right, what should I have? My cat's gonna wake me up tonight. Out of this world. What kind of answer is that? It means I'm crazy. They're gonna wake me up. Why did I even ask that? Right? Am I gonna win the lottery tomorrow? Of course, you have to play the lottery to win. Because I'll make new friends. That's not a really an answer to that question, is it? Alright, one more. One more. What's a good question? Am I going to get a thousand likes on this video? Positively! Yay! Thanks, everybody. How nice of you. See, it said so. The glitter ball says so. Hit the, hit the like button. Hit the like button. That's my thumb. And... You know, I'm going to do, I saw a lot of these at Walmart. Not that, I mean, there's a lot of these, but there's also the whole universe thing. There's a lot of different ones. So if you like this, and you like this kind of stuff, I'll get another one, and we'll try that. I also um, saw some cross-stitching things that I'd like to try. So if you want to see, watch, like, just someone cross-stitching, I don't know. I'm the type of person that likes to see art being created. So, I assume there's other people like me out there for that. Alright. It's pretty... I want to open it and see how slimy it is, you know? I won't. I'll make a mess if I do that. You'll shine the brightest. You all shine the brightest for me. Well, either way, I do a lot more than this kind of stuff. So, subscribe if you like this because I'll have other stuff to show you. I have some unboxings coming up because I got some stuff in. And, of course, always there's always recipes. So, I hope you all have a great day. And I hope you enjoyed this video because I thought it was fun to make. And, like I said, um, like, comment, tell me if you want me to open it and play, see what the stuff feels like inside now. It's not completely cooled down, so I don't think it's completely um, slimy yet. I think that might be that chunk or is that glitter remember that chunk of uh, cob climber what if this has something to do with it I don't know 
Okay, I forgot to go over what this poster says. It says, the future looks bright. It's apparently related to the fortune teller thing. It says, fortune tellers started making their way into the toy industry in the 1940s, but the idea of fortune telling dates all the way back to around 4,000 BC. Different forms of fortune telling include crystallomancy, like crystal ball reading, tarot card reading, and palm reading, and occur just about everywhere in our universe. Slimy goop is considered a non-Newtonian fluid, which means it's not quite a liquid, but also not a solid. Albert Carter invented the first fortune telling sphere called the Magic 8-Ball in the 1940s. Some people tell fortunes as a profession. Professional fortune tellers are called psychics or clairvoyants. These people believe that they are born with the ability to be able to tell what will happen in the future. And historically, fortune telling grew out of Roman folklore, Renaissance magic. Okay, guys. So I hope you all enjoyed this. It was a little different than what I've been usually doing, and I've been wanting to do some different videos. So, like, subscribe, let me know how, what you think about it, and have a great day. Bye!